Hello, in this video I want to show you the remote control for my grape harvester. It's a Pellinch 3050. The machine is controlled via hydraulics. And um, my 14 year old daughter and I wrote an Android app with MIT App Inventor. And um, if I press the button up, the bin will lift. And so I can see if it will hit the trailer. I can control all 10 functions on the other page. I can lift the body or I can put the steering left or right. So I can perfectly see if it will fit with the trailer works like this. The silent waves are down here. And normally they are controlled with the switch box in the cap. Here you normally control all the functions the body of the machine, the steering, and uh, containers. And inside I put a PCB with 10 relays and an ESP32. It communicates with the Android app via Wi-Fi and the UDP protocol. Additionally, it sends um, a signal to a GoPen GPS if the machine is harvesting. So a GoPen GPS documents where I've already been. And if I switch off, it turns off. So here you can see where I've already harvested. And um, it's very cool at night so you can find the next row uh, easily. Additionally, I put a camera for driving backwards here with the other smartphone, so you can look backwards and uh, drive and see. If Let's see how the PCB looks like. Here is a photo of the switch box. The PCB is down there, it's a little crowded inside. And this is a photo of the PCB, it's an older version. It's the 10 relays and the connectors to the Salinet valves. Two driver chips and an older ESP chip and a power supply. The schematic is like this. Here is the ESP32 board, it's a Lowland D32. The two driver chips and the relays and the connectors. The driver chips provide ground on the output if the input gets high. So from the ESP the output gets high, the input of the driver chip gets high and then the output connects to ground so the relay switches on because it's always connected to plus 12 volt. The power comes in from fuse 2 and 3 and goes out to the connectors to the solenoid waves. Um, to be sure that uh, Lowlin always boots, I put in two capacitors to the enable and to the reset pin. I power it to via the USB pin. Here is a voltage divider to um, use it for the work switch. 12 volt coming in and um, the input D33 it's getting high when 12 volt comes in. The code for the ESP chip based on the web page of Wilhelm Ada or Coffee Track. It's um, copy of the autosteer code from 
and open GPS. Um, it handles the information coming via UDP from the Android app. Uh, new is that um, the IP address is generated by checking the IP of the network and replacing the end to 255. It's uh, sent to port 9999 coming from port 5555 to turn on GoPen GPS sections. You can set uh, the access point's name here and at the web page of the program you can set up your own Wi-Fi settings. Let's take a look at the web page of the remote control. You can enter it by typing the IP address. If it's provided by the access point, it's 192.168.150. So this is the web page. Here you can set up your network's name of the director and the password of it. The Android app was written by my 14-year-old daughter and me. She brought me to the MIT App Inventor, which is quite cool stuff and easy to do such things. Here you can see the screen. We put a picture in the background and um, the four buttons for the pins and um, on the second screen um, the body functions, the steering, all up and down. Here you can see the, the code behind. If you press button 1, the timer is sent to 100 milliseconds, so 10 hertz. And uh, button 1, so the text is 1. And the routine send UTP is called immediately to send the button immediately. Call it, uh, send UTP does following thing. Uh, at the first start, it gets the IP of the actual network and replaces the last byte by 255 to broadcast to the whole network. If this was done only by the first time, it jumps to here and sends UTP to the global address by using port 3050 and sending the text RC for remote control and additionally the text provided by pressing the button. This is called every time by the timer. And uh, so if the timer is set to 100 milliseconds, it's called 10 times per second. And uh, if you release the button, button one touch up, the timer is set to one second and the text is sent to zero. So the relay will all fall back. This is also called immediately to send immediately and uh, afterwards it's called every second by the timer. So quite simple. Finally, I uploaded everything to my GitHub. The Android app is there. It's a file for MIT App Inventor and the APK file for installing it directly on your Android phone. The Arduino code is there and uh, the schematics is also there. So you would be able to build this stuff. So thanks for watching.